Hello, welcome to the tutorial here on how to make your animated face move, how to make a stable diffusion image move or any kind of face move. Hello everybody, welcome to my tutorial here on how to animate a still image with a video driver and this is called uh, Thin Plate Spline Motion Notebook. And just to give credit where credit is due, I found this program from Nerdy Rodents YouTube page and I've been a subscriber to his channel for a long time. He's had great videos on all kinds of different tools for years now, and including AI tools and other stuff. And I actually first really, he was one of the sites where I first kind of got interested in AI. And that's where I found this. Um, so he does everything locally. So my tutorial here is going to focus on using this on the notebook. And there is one small thing we're going to need to do to get it to work. So the very first thing I do, I'm going to copy this to my drive. And then when this is ran, I'll go ahead and start this. So I'm starting this from scratch. Okay, so the first thing we do, we're just going to start running it here from the top. Now there will be one tiny thing we need to do here. I did already test this again with a completely blank template though. So we're just going to run it down here. And now this is the part where we're going to need to start adding some information. Down here is where you're going to import your video and your image. So what I'm doing is I'm using a 512 by 512 image and a 512 by 512. It's called the driving video right here, driving video path. This is where you're going to enter your video. And that's where it can show you talking and you don't need to worry about the audio. Make sure you have the auto saved on the main one, but this program isn't going to do the audio for you. It's just going to do the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag my two files over here. Okay. So I have my two files over here. So I have my talking image pong file. This is my still image file and this is my video file. So I'm going to right click and copy my path to my video file. And right here where it says driving video path, I'm going to copy it in between these two quotes right here. So I'm going to leave those two and just copy it there. Then I'm going to do the same thing here with my still image. This is my talking image file here. And I'm going to put it here where it says source image path. I'm just going to copy it right in between the quotes again and paste it. And then I'm going to go ahead and run this. Now we are going to get, we're going to get an error the very first time we do this. Okay. I'm going to run it again now. Okay, this is where we get our error. Now this is where you're going to enter just this one line of code. And then once you do this, you shouldn't need to do it again. Okay, it's right here. If you notice, it says to use the ImageIO FFmpeg plugin, you need to pip install ImageIO. So we're just gonna copy right here where it says pip install FFmpeg. I'm just gonna copy that. And then you can just add this anywhere to the notebook. I'm just going to enter a line of code here. I'm just going to put plus code and I'm going to paste that pip install image IO FFmpeg and run that now. And then this is going to install this program here for us, this line of code here. And then that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and run this again. And what this is going to do is it's going to import, it's going to use your video file. and your image file and this is going to make the video now it's also it's going to save it as right here generated you can change this output video path if you want i'm just going to leave it on default here and i'll show you where you can find the finished product when it's ready to go okay we are done now it's going to display your um, video here this isn't the finished product let's go ahead and keep running it down here And this is the demo here. If you want, you can also just use that demo, but I think you need to get the file and everything. Okay. And then we run this next line. Okay. And then we run this next line of code here and that should be it. That should generate our talking face video. Now, now, like I said, it doesn't add the audio. So you'll just have to save another version of that video you're using here for your driver with the audio. And then you'll just have to cut that audio out and replace it using the video that we're creating now. And this is going to be real quick here. But this is a really great program, really fun program. You can use it, you know, do all kinds of things. I originally was really excited about this because I want to use it to uh, make singers for my songs. You know, I can, I did that in my last video, the Gothic Fever Dream video. Okay, and it's just about done here. And when it's finished, it's actually going to save the file right here into this thin plate spline motion directory here. I believe it's going to call it generated. Yeah. 
Okay, and it is finished now. And now we're going to find it over here. It's called generated. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this. And like I said, you can rename that. And then we'll go ahead and open it. And there is our talking video. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the beginning of the video later and add the audio. So this is really not too complicated. All you really need to do is add that one line of code there and you should be good to go. So this tutorial was pretty short and sweet. I like it. And hopefully this will get you all up and running with this. This is a really cool program. And thank you for watching. I do have many more tutorials and videos coming. And you all have a great rest of your day.